Okay, so now we're going to look more in more detail at the process of gain staging. There is, of course, a video that I've done dedicated to gain staging um, from the recording phase all the way through to the mix phase. Now you can check that out again in the playlist right here. But for now, I'm just going to show you the basics of how to prepare your gain stages prior to your mix down. So right here, I've got my marker list displayed. So I'm just going to hold down the option key and we're going to kick off from um, verse two. So as you can see, when I hold the option key and I click on verse two, the marker jumps to verse two and we can start from there. Okay, so we're just listening to the drums. Okay, so just so focusing on the drums. In fact, let's um, go back to the single display. So essentially gain staging is the different points at which you can add gain or volume to a signal before it reaches the output. So let's take, for example, this kick drum right here. Okay, let's solo that and play that back. Now, at the moment, the volume of the kick drum is being controlled by the volume fader. Now, if I was to introduce an EQ, okay, a channel EQ, and I'm just going to hit a quick preset. There's a cut here in the low mid frequency range and a boost here in the high mid to high frequency range. Okay. Now these might well cancel each other out. However, they do impact on the overall gain of the kick drum. If I was of course to introduce a compressor. Okay. And once again, I'm just going to use a quick preset. Now again, the compressor is going to be impacting the gain of the kick drum. So essentially everything that we add to this chain of plugins is going to have some sort of impact on the gain of the kick drum. We add to that the amount of boost we push here on the volume fader, and then that is going to have even more impact. Furthermore, remember we are outputting this kick drum to the drum bus, which in itself um, has its own set of plugins and processes, which add further gain. And of course, the volume fader of the, um, of the bus itself. Then that outputs to the main stereo out, which of course is where we monitor the overall level of the drums. Okay. So gain staging is really important because you've got to bear in mind how much gain you're applying to a signal prior to it reaching the main stereo out. And of course, there are different points at which you add gain, which increases the overall volume. So essentially, it's all of the different stages where gain is applied to a sound source. That's what you've got to be watching for. Now, one important thing that you've got to bear in mind is the placement of the different plugins, the order in which they are placed in the chain. So imagine the signals coming in from the top. It hits the EQ first, then it hits the compressor. And then um, let's say we had another plug in here. That's the flow of the signal. In other words, the signal path or signal flow comes in from the top and flows downwards through the channel and down to the fader. Um, it's important also to recognize that the order in which you put your EQ and your compressor has a um, major impact on the shape of the sound and the gain that the uh, that is output. So for example, if I, if I had the compressor first in the chain, the compressor will of course be dealing with the signal as it comes in. However, any adjustment I make to the frequencies here in this EQ will not be tempered by the compressor. So that additional uh, processing will go unchecked by your compressor. Again, it depends on how you want to do things. Um, whereas if I had the EQ first, the compressor will of course take into account the um, changes I've made to the frequencies here in my EQ and then apply the pro appropriate gain reduction based on the settings of the compressor. Okay, so this is an important thing. The order in which you place your plugins also has an impact on the overall gain uh, in the gain stage. 